Hey guys, how's it going? It's King Spudbud here again, and today I uh, managed to find my way back to Diamond City after the game had crashed, and I got my infection dealt with, and then I set up camp right here with Piper as a companion now along with Dogmeat, Then we're going to go ahead and try to take back the assembly plant today. I figured since we were on our way back to Sanctuary, I was actually doing that uh, in an attempt to go ahead and try to build a little bit and level up. I figured, hey, you know, this would be a pretty good idea. Go ahead and knock out two birds, one stone, advance some of the Minutemen quests, get a bit more experience. Because that's what we're here to do. We're just here to get experience. So now if I were to hop up here. Actually... I don't know, would a pistol be better in this case? I don't have much ammunition, so I forgot to even think about buying any while I was in Diamond City, and I'm not going back to do it. So, okay. So, yeah, that's what this entire video is going to be, is just this kind of... Okay, what did I get discovered? I had tried doing this before off camera, just to see if I could get it knocked out of the way. My game, okay, that's just the steam catch, uh, the stream catching up. Uh, my game crashed as soon as, um, as soon as I made it to Jared. I was about to aim to take the last shot, and the game had crashed. So, you know. Good times, I guess. Piper was no help during most of the time I did it the first time around. Um, but that's Piper, you know, you can't do anything about that. Hmm. Okay, so first things first. Disable the tripwire. Holy crap, grab the Nuka Cola. Find out you're carrying too much and lend it to Piper. Come here. Uh, we'll go ahead and give her the pipe rifle and the minigun. Um, couple of clothing items. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh, crap. Disarm the bomb. Grab the office fan and typewriter. So we could always use more junk. Okay, that was this, the stream again. Hold on, I'm gonna have to turn around so that I can. I stop looking at my monitor and actually look at the TV uh, that I'm playing on, as opposed to the monitor I'm streaming on. So yeah, this this video might not be as clean uh, as the other ones were because I'm having to use the. Uh, I'm having to stream this to my computer and then use OBS to record it from there. Oh crap, what the? 
Whoa! Alright, we're almost dead already. That is, uh, not good. Caffeine in our veins. Back here. What are you complaining about? That's not what I meant to do. Okay, we'll take his ammo and his crops. Ooh, a bucket. Alright, I'm probably going to do what I did the first time I did this, which was just mainly use this sword. This sword is an amazing, like, starter weapon. Guys, take the beer bottles because you can fill them. Do they not have a bed up here? For those. Oh, gosh. Really kind of hoping for a bed so I can, you know, save. Oh, crap. Try to bounce him off the wall. Hey, it worked. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's another one. I think they're gone. So now, being all sneaky, we're going to activate the Protectron and have him go ahead and kill Jared for us. Yes. Okay. Where's Piper? Right, if she's going to start another firefight dog me, I say we leave. Because I'm not going back. What do you mean show his face? He's right there. Get out the Mauser for this one. Oh, look who finally showed up. Now we'll cause a little bit of destruction. Perfect.
There we go. And there we go, guys. This time it was successful. And uh, thanks to Piper, she kind of made sure nobody would follow us. So I guess I gotta give her props for that. Is this Jared? Nope. I'm good for now, Piper. Thank you. Alright, uh, Rognak, and we out. Oh crap, I'm getting hungry and thirsty. No, I'm just hungry. So the only ones that manage to survive are just really, really stupid. Okay. I was a little stressed out. I know I didn't talk very much during that whole thing. I didn't want the game to crash or for me to die all of a sudden because of like poor planning or anything. Okay, so open up the chain. Always lingering here, aren't they? That's right. You know, playing on survival difficulty is starting to make me think I should have used my power armor from Lexington. Or not Lexington, Concord. My companion? No, my companion decided to get in trouble. I'm not going to heal him. Crap. Okay. Home free, come on. If we can get back to that sleeping bag, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Ooh, crap. Still shooting. Turn on the pit boy light here. Crap, dude. They're getting really close to us. At least it seems like it. Okay, now where? Was the camp we made? I know it was really close. There it is. There's the campfire. Here we go. Sleep for three hours. We're just gonna keep going in bursts of three hours until it's daytime. So. Okay, uh, it's daytime again, so I'm gonna put the level up on him. Uh, what are we? Level eight. Can't do much with level eight. But I think we're gonna put. We already have one in uh, chemist because then I can make some stuff that would actually help us against things like infection. So. I'm gonna go with this is difficult. We'll try toughness. Alright. 
So yet again, we are going to go kind of around Lexington, not straight through. If I go ahead, because we need to head back to Ten Pines Bluff now. We can't just go straight to Sanctuary like we planned. But at least we got out of the way. It's much better than kind of just having that hang over our heads for a few playthroughs. And it made for an interesting story about the time where we critical uh, Jared right in the head. That's the first time I've ever been able to kill him one shot. And uh, I feel like melee weapons, uh, like uh, fast and powerful melee weapons, are going to be a really very useful tool in our tool belt of weaponry uh, whenever we're playing this today. And whenever we play it in general. You know. Crap, those guys. Alright, well. I made a mistake. So I'm gonna run from it. That's another thing good about companions. They make great diversion teams. Okay. I did discover Grey Garden and Oberlin Station on my way to Diamond City, so if we need to go back to those places for another Minuteman quest, I don't think that'd be too hard. I mean, Oberlin Station, they just send you to Backstreet Alley, I think. And, uh, let's see, Bedford Station's like over that way, right next to Starlight Drive In right here. Speaking of Starlight Drive In, pretty sure there's a. Yeah, there we go. Some vodka. Axle cleaner. Ooh, a suitcase. Ooh, a toy car for screws. A couple milk bottles that we can fill up with water. A rad roach and a machete. And some bobby pins. I remember there being more in there last time. Maybe that's just me. Alright, let's stop and cook some food. Is that all we can make? Yep. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste my purified water making dirty water. Okay. Oh boy. Starlight Drive-In's gonna have to turn into a settlement, so we might as well go ahead and clear it. I hate mole rats so much. And we're out of ammo. Here. Please tell me that's cleared. Yes, okay, good. I'm just going to go ahead and secure it as a settlement real quick. Workshop menu is going to load real quick, and then... There we go. This just, you know, secures it as a settlement and not just a location that we secured. Cleared, I mean. Alright, cool. So, now we have... Yep. We've got one, two three, four settlements under our belt uh, after today. Just kind of because of us stopping by here. Grey Garden and Oberlin Station are probably going to be next. Abernathy Farm and the Lakeview Terrace, which is actually a modded one. It's a mod that just adds another small settlement. Uh, probably going to be another video, though. Probably going to be quite a ways. And we are going to do, like, Minutemen and Brother... Er, no, of course Minutemen quests, but we're also going to be doing Railroad and Brotherhood of Steel quests just to try and, you know, level us up and get us some more equipment, too. Dr. O'Reilly can be friends with everyone. He's a medic. He only fights if he has to. Oh, no. Okay, well, we made a big mistake. So, as we do with all great mistakes, we can just go around it.
right, here we go. And then kind of just up this hill is uh, Ten Pines Bluff. After attempting that quest the first time and having the game crash, um, that didn't feel good. That was quite annoying. Because I spent like an hour trying to clear that place out without taking very much damage. But now... Excuse me. Of course, now he has to do the get-up animation as soon as he sits down because he decided to do that. Then we're going to have to go back to Mr. Preston Gravy. But for now, I'm going to try to sleep on an actual bed and get rid of my tired. Oh, it's a mattress. Isn't that just great? Why is my person still tired? I've slept like so many hours. I don't understand how one man could be so tired. There we go. Now that we got some hydration in our blood, we're going to run on back over to Mr. Gravy. And then. Yeah. Pay him a visit and say hi, I guess. I don't know. I know it may seem like not much is happening in these videos, but what I've learned from my experience with survival mode is that this is going to be a very slow-paced endeavor. There we go. I don't know, Art, but I'm glad I could help. I honestly did not think we were going to pass that speech check there. That one was a bit of luck, so let's hope we don't have to go through it again by dying. Oh, speak of the devil. You know what? You got him, dog man. I'll leave you to it. I am going the right way, aren't I? Okay, I am. That's good. So we're going to pass by Thicket Excavations. Yep, that's what it says on our map just now. And we're going to pass by Mr. Solomon. Boop, boop, boop. And we'll be good, boop. And then... Does this road actually lead to? Okay, so upon this intersection, if we were to take a right, we'd be heading back into Concord. And then we can get it. Okay. That's cool. So right here. Ammunition is probably going to be a pretty big problem for us. I think I have an idea. Let's figure that out. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if anybody's in here. Oh, that kid. And water, perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, nobody's there, but water's water. Okay. 
Okay. Whew, I'd say we're making pretty good progress today. Let's go. Stop all these houses. Okay. And uh here we go, chem box. Let's check out the upstairs. Raider. Yeah, I mean, at least it's a raider. Take some more bottles because you can fill those up. Unlock the novice lock safe. Guide. Grab the ammunition that we were just talking about. Silver locket and leave the pipe pistol because we're already pretty low on carry weight. So then there's the Museum of Freedom right there. Just to give you guys an idea of where we are. That's the easy. No, thank you. Uh, we're just trying to get to Red Rocket uh, to use its chem station. Ooh, peppers. And then, of course, go by Sanctuary. Red Rocket's just like a stop we'd be making. I don't think Red Rockets yeah it's cleared. Okay. I was about to say I didn't know if it was cleared or not. Do 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 Okay, here we go. Check. Quartz and our normal. Milk bottle. And a chemistry station. Here we go, guys. So. What's new? Okay, those are drugs. Healing. Herbal. Okay. Infection and parasites. So we need. Glowing cave fungus, ash blossoms, carrot flowers, gourd blossoms, and thistles. Blood draw kit. What is this? Deals 50 damage and dehydrates to get a blood pack. That seems kind of counter counterintuitive. All right, antibiotics cures sickness. So this would be good if we're curing the infection if we ever got it. And of course, chemist was a good idea there. We just need some glowing cave fungus. We need golden cave for this for a lot of things. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Cool. Anything new in here? Nope. Alrighty, let's head. That was a weird noise. <sighs> let's uh finish talking to Mr. Gravy. And, uh, Become general of the Minutemen. This bridge is very broken. Ah, home, ugly home. This place is very ugly still, because I haven't done anything to it yet. Oh boy. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the minute there. That's crazy. I think the guy just killed me. By the way, uh -huh. how much is the debt? I don't know. I figured you'd tell me if you're ready. Yeah, we'll try to skip through this. Okay, uh -huh. I was in front of Hollis. The mercenaries were too far from them. We could get only a few of us left. As long as you don't give up, the minute men will survive. Not about to give up. Huh? Oh. That's why I'm talking to you. It's a lot, man, for me and Brandon. I appreciate that. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Well, go on. That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minute Man has always held the rank of general. Sure. Our last was one. Now, uh -huh. anything else? Dude, I'm kidding to you. You tell me anything else? Alright. I gotta spin around him until he finishes talking. Huh. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. 
Where did Piper go? Is Piper just gone? Wait a second, can companions die in survival? Help. Is companions an option? Anything on companions in this one then? Combat and adrenaline, compass, good times, illness, fatigue, illness. Purple Dome's companion healing. Oh, crap. Well, at least we know where she went. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, pop a like and a subscribe down below. And uh, share this with your friends if you want. And I'll see you later. Bye.